Kaduna State Governor Senator Obasani has said that 1,050,000 residents and 210,000 households will benefit from the special palliative intervention program across the state. Sani stated this at a government house, Kaduna. He said special focus will be given to the elderly, widows, poor and vulnerable households, orphanages, PWD and IDP camps. He added that the Kaduna State, Kaduna State has received 2 billion naira from the federal government for the first phase of distribution. Also, the Nigeria Labour Congress Kaduna State Chapter TUC and Joint Persons Living with Disabilities commended the committee for prioritizing the elderly, most vulnerable and undeserved groups as beneficiaries stressing that inclusive approach by key engaging by key stakeholders in the distribution of palliative to residents is timely and supported initiatives we are targeting about 1 million and 50 thousand in Kaduna state that uh, translates to about 210 thousand households the two billion naira is what we are using at the moment to ensure that uh, we come up with something quickly to support our poor, underserved, and vulnerable within our state who have been suffering because of the removal of the federal subsidy. We have decided, with the support of all the trade unions, to buy 43,000 bags of 50 kg of rice. Speaking on the monitoring, the governor assured transparency and accountability to the intended beneficiaries and warned anyone, anyone attempting to divert the palliative will face the full wrath of the law. I have decided to focus on 210,000 households are going to be supported. And I have said earlier, we are only focusing on the poor of the poorest and the less privileged. Concern with the less privileged and the downtrodden, is to inform the good citizens of Kaduna State that uh, the labor centers, both NLC and TUC, with our affiliates, are involved, are in 100% support of what the committee is doing because we are part and parcel of the committee. To look at the other clusters of the citizens of Kaduna State in this kind of palette that they are doing, among which is our constituency, the civil servants. We look at the issue of transportation. Transportation is very important. So we're going to consider the urban poor. Because there are people living in urban cities that are also poor. They are also vulnerable. They are also underserved. And because of that, we will ensure that we also come up with free transportation. Motive that will move from Zaria to Kaduna to Savantesha to Kapancha. Governor Sani also promised to provide buses for logistics and free transportation fare for residents, fertilizer to farmers and other government workers. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.